Hello everyone, this is gonna be a rather unusual video. So as you can see here, this is my current PC, my desktop. And uh, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I'm doing some sort of a parts swap. I'm not even considering this to be an upgrade. It's quite a minimal upgrade, I would say. I'm switching over the motherboard to the ASUS ProArt B660 Creator D4. Yes, the DDR4 RAM. And uh, I'm also upgrading the SSD from a 512 gigs to a 1TB PCIe Gen 4 X4 NVMe SSD alongside with uh, switching my current Ryzen 7 2700X, yes it is that old, into an Intel Core i5 14 Gen, so 14400F. F means that it doesn't have an integrated GPU, so I will reuse my Zotac Gaming 3080 Ti. Yes, it is a 3080 Ti. I got this from the office actually. So the reason why I'm not really doing a big upgrade is because, um, well, we got spare parts in the studio. And the reason why I have spare parts is because uh, you are watching NL Tech, also known as Nasilamak Tech, but our company actually has three publications. So one of it is NL Tech, of course. Secondly is my everyday tech where we talk about home appliances, TV and whatnot. And then the third side is Tech Critter. So Tech Critter is focusing more on PC DIY stuff. So if you want to check those out, you can watch that channel. I will link it down in the description for you guys to watch. I will also occasionally make an appearance in that channel, but it's mostly my colleagues that are doing all the stuff there. So if you're interested in graphic cards, processor, CPU cooler, fans, SSDs, uh, gaming laptops, all of those stuff, watch Tech Reader. But the reason why I'm doing this video for NL Tech is because, um, how do I say this? This is more like a vlog where I'm sharing some of my experience with you and also upgrading my desktop at the same time. So I will be reusing most of my parts. I'm just swapping out, like what I mentioned earlier, processor, motherboard, SSD, and I'm also reusing the cooler, but due to the mounting system being different, AMD and also Intel, uh, no, actually I'm transitioning from AMD to Intel. So I am using the Noctua NHD15 here. This is a fantastic cooler. I absolutely love it. Uh, yeah, the, the shine on the aluminium is not really that shiny because I used alcohol swap to wipe it. Don't do that. And then... Uh, yeah, thanks Noctua for sending us over the mounting kit so I can swap it into the LGA1700 motherboard sockets. Yeah, and I also got the Noctua NTH2 thermal paste. And uh, the reason why I got Noctua is because I'm already using Noctua stuff and I really like Noctua stuff. So why not just go full Noctua? I even have a lot of Noctua fans in this case as well. So... Um, yeah, let's get started. I'm also going to clean up my desktop a little bit because it has not been cleaned in like many years. But uh, I mainly use this desktop for gaming anyway, so I don't expect it to have that much dust. So let's begin. So I'm actually pretty familiar when it comes to PCs because I have built desktops many, many times before. And uh, yeah, even those in the studio, sometimes I have to troubleshoot them. Four sticks of DDR4, eight gigs of RAM. Hmm, not the most recommended way to take out a motherboard, but it works. So after taking out the old motherboard, what I'm going to do now is to actually just prepare the new motherboard. So what I'm going to do is to install the CPU first, as mentioned earlier, the Intel Core i5-14400F. And the CPU installation is as easy as ever. One thing to note is to never grab the back of the CPU where the pins are located. So just place it on the motherboard, give it a good wiggle so that it is in the correct position and then just snap in the bar and there you go, that's installed. And next up is the SSD. Like many other motherboards, it has an SSD cover that also acts like a heatsink. So we'll leave that aside for now and unbox the Adata Legend 960 Max SSD. 
It does come with a heatsink on its own, but I'm not going to use it. So I'm just going to install the SSD alone onto the motherboard. And this motherboard does have a latch. So the installation is completely screwless. That is fantastic as the M.2 SSD screws are just way too tiny. And before we install back the cover for the SSD, remember to peel off the sticker and then we can screw the whole thing back and we're done. I'm also going to reuse one of my old SSDs. This is a 256GB SSD and I'm just going to use it as a game drive. This motherboard also has triple M.2 SSD slots, but the speed of this secondary SSD is not really my concern, so I'm just going to place it in the middle slot. Why not? And again, it has that screwless design. Now for the RAM. As mentioned earlier, I'm going to reuse my RAM. They are HyperX Predator. DDR4 RAMs and uh, HyperX isn't even owned by Kingston anymore and they have sold the entire brand to HP like about one or two years ago so this RAM is considered a relic at this point in time and now it's time to prepare the mounting kit for the cooler so Noctua sent us this if you own a Noctua cooler you can just ask them they will send you the mounting kit for newer CPUs if you want to reuse your own Noctua coolers. What I'm gonna do now is to clean off the old thermal paste on my Noctua NHD15. Alcohol swaps are your best friend here so I just got them out and simply wipe it down. And then I have to unscrew this and screw in the new brackets. I actually got the orientation of the cooler wrong which I will fix later. I will also give my case a quick wipe down and the problem with white colored cases is that Whenever I try to wipe some dust off of the case, it will leave some black streaks and those black streaks will dry up and cause stains. I have to wipe it extensively to make sure that it is very clean. Before I install the new motherboard, I will also have to take out the rear fan because it's just blocking the IO shield and then we just lower down the motherboard. I'm not doing it in the most correct way possible because I'm lazy but uh, yeah, you should get all of the cables out of the way before installing the new motherboard. Then we screw in the motherboard and then connect all of the cables. The SATA ports are a bit finicky since it is at a weird angle and the case have this bar there. Yeah, it, it's just a bit uncomfortable. I truly didn't expect this to be such a big tube of thermal paste, so okay. Noctua even has recommended thermal paste uh, as in how big you should apply and where you should apply so you can get the maximum coverage. And they also provided like heaps of cleaning wipes that basically alcohol swap, so I, I'm not going to use it since I have my own. They included like 10 of them here, so that's nice. You, you can actually reuse the box. So just slip this in, then you can just reuse the box. Even though I just pulled off the tab, I can still steal it. This, this is nice. That should be enough. Still leaking a bit, but okay. Oh no, I got the orientation of the cooler wrong. No, never over tighten the CPU cooler. Just make sure that it's finger tight. And also equal amount of turns on both sides, the top and bottom. That's the most important thing. One reason why I like to use Noctua fans is because it is very quiet. And uh, I'm using dual fans is because I can lower the RPM of each fan and also less noise, which is good. Actually, big fans, low RPM is a recipe for quietness. That's, that's something that I like. This is my cable management for those who are curious. Moment of truth. After the installation is done, we booted up, entered the BIOS menu, and then enabled XMP. So this RAM is at 
3000 megahertz but the xmp profile is only at 2933 megahertz i will boot up with all of these settings first and return to the bios later and now it is time to install windows 11 and uh, remember windows 11 is actually a necessity here because the intel 12th gen has p core and e cores and they need windows 11's new kernel to function properly and there we go the installation is complete my pc is running great now and thanks for joining everyone i know this is a bit of a weird video but uh, i just want to share with you some of the things that i also do other than just phones tablets laptops and whatnot so yeah if you do enjoy these kind of videos then do subscribe to this channel but also do subscribe to tech Reader because we do most of this stuff on that channel and yeah i will go back to my pc gaming now i'll see you guys in the next video